Hello everyone, this is Desi and in this video I'm going to show you how to do routing in PSD Mobile. This is our newest feature that we just released and we are really excited for this feature. It has been highly requested and I know it's going to make the job of all of you process servers out there in the field so much easier. So before I get to the routing part, uh, let me show you some things first that are important. So the first thing you want to do is go to the top menu on the top left and you want to go to settings. You want to scroll down to where it says home address and make sure you enter your home address there. Uh, so that way, when you're creating a route, you will have the option to either start from home or to start from current location or perhaps to start from any of the addresses that you're actually uh, going to. And I'll show you where that's at in a moment. Then you're going to scroll up and you're going to go to the maps provider area here under general settings. If you have an iPhone, uh, you may have Google Maps and Apple Maps as an option. If you're an Android, uh, you will see Google Maps. So personally, I like Google Maps better. So that's just me. But there you, there you go. So from here, I'm going to go to jobs. And now I'm going to go into actually creating a route. So the first thing you want to do is hit that checkbox up on the top menu with a check mark. So and then here you are going to select the jobs that you are going to create a route, a route for. So for example, let's say you have 10 stops to make in the morning, or maybe you have 15 stops to do in that evening. Uh, that's the route that you're making. Pretty much where you where you going in the morning or in the evening or the mid-afternoon and whatnot. So let me just choose here a couple of jobs. Um, you can route up to 23 addresses. So if you have jobs that are all going into the same address, then that counts obviously as one stop. But just uh, wanted to make sure I let you guys know that. It's only up to 23 addresses per route. And the next thing you want to do is hit the car icon right here at the bottom. And so that's going to give you all of the addresses that you want to visit. So you can just go ahead and select all. If there's any addresses that you don't want to stop at because you've already been there and it's a bad address. So for example, right here up at the top where I have my job number 22, uh, 2022 149, you know, let's say that first address, you know, was the one that I went to. I'm not going there anymore. I'm just going to go to that second address Then I can just easily unselect that. So then we hit next. And then right here is where it's going to tell you where you want to start from. So you can start from home. So that's why I show you where to enter that address at. You can start from current location or you can start from, you know, any of the selected addresses that you're actually uh, doing a stop at. So that is up to you. So for this example, I want to do start from home and then I'm going to hit next. And now this is going to create my active route. So it's going to take me to each address. So this will be my first stop. So I can just go ahead and hit directions. It's going to open my Google Maps and then I can just go ahead and hit start. So now it's going to route me there. Um, once I'm done, you know, I'm there. If I need to update this job, uh, all you have to do is just tap right there on the name and job number right where the uh, arrows pointing at. So if I tap there, it's going to take me inside the job. You can add an attempt or you can add service details if you actually serve the job. So let's just do an attempt for an example. So add attempt. I'm going to go ahead and hit my little bubble here with a plus sign. No one home, no cars in driveway. Hit OK. Remember, if you need to change the day and time or the time at least of that attempt, you can just hit the the um, calendar right there and then just change the time right here. Hit save, hit save again, and it's going to take me back to that route. So pretty much I'm done with that. I'm gonna hit next address, and then I can go from there. And pretty much you're just doing this as you go. So hit directions, it's gonna take you to the map, and you doing on and so forth. So next address, next address, next address, and then at the very end is going to take you, you know, you can either do directions to go home, or you can just hit done. And then lastly, you're going to be on that job list. You're going to have jobs with, you know, the red dots because you uh, made updates. So the last thing you want to do is sync that information. So hit those arrows circling around up at the top to synchronize all that data. 
and then you're done. So this is pretty much it for the new routing feature. If you guys have any questions, please call our support team. We're here to help you in any way we can. We're really excited to have this feature out. We're looking forward to hearing your feedback. And as always, you guys have a happy PST day.